For months, the Fairfield School Board has had no choice but to deal with the transgender controversy. The U.S. Justice Department recently issued guidelines that allows transgender students to use the bathroom of their choice. Fairfield schools implemented these guidelines. But since then, they've been bombarded with complaints from students and parents on both sides of the issue. Some are concerned about the civil rights of transgender students. I really um, uh, am concerned about uh, discrimination issues. It's kind of a hot trigger for me. Others are concerned about the privacy of cisgender students. I do not believe that asking a male to use the men's bathroom is discrimination. Asking a female to use the female bathroom is not discrimination. So the board spent most of the summer developing a plan. They listened to everyone's concerns and compiled a list of practices and guidelines for the transgender students. At its regular meeting Monday, the board reviewed these guidelines. The guidelines include a gender transition accommodation plan and a support system for students. And while some believe the guidelines are a good start in protecting transgender students from discrimination, they could still use more emphasis on privacy rights. But the majority of the board believes the guidelines are appropriate. The administrative guidelines that we're looking at here uh, would be more conservative than any others we're aware of in the state. When the children are not feeling safe or comfortable, we have a, a reporting system that will be better and Hopefully the students will see that um, the administration is a place where they can go to for support and help and to make sure that they do feel safe and protected in the school. Other board members, including Paul Miller, think they should sit tight and see what the Supreme Court decides. Though the majority of people who attended the meeting were against the guidelines, the board still voted 4-2 to two to approve them. Board President Phil Miller reminded everyone that unlike a policy, guidelines can be shaped. Reporting in Fairfield, Iowa, Beth Walden, KTVO News.